Hey everybody, Aaron again at Warmoth, and today I'm going to be talking to you about this little gizmo right here. This is a side adjust mechanism manufactured by Godo, and Warmoth is one of the very few, if not the only manufacturers to use this. And uh, as a result, we get a lot of questions about it, like, you know, how does it work? Which next does it come on? Will it affect the tone? Should I be afraid of the side adjust mechanism? Is it safe to use around small children and pets? And so today I'm going to try and answer a lot of those questions. But before we can understand how this works, we need to understand how a double truss rod works. So first imagine a thin flat metal bar about 18 inches long. When this bar is at rest, it sits in a straight line, which is exactly how it will sit inside of a guitar neck. Now in order to make it bend, we need to apply inward pressure. So now imagine putting it in some kind of a gigantic vise. As we begin to tighten the vise, the inward pressure will cause the bar to bow in the middle. Now obviously we can't use a gigantic vise if the bar is in the middle of a guitar neck, so we have to think of another way to apply inward pressure. We do this by welding a small tube to one end. Then we take a second bar, which is round, slide it through the tube, and weld both bars together at the other end. The round bar is slightly longer than the flat bar, and back at the tube end, that extra length is threaded so an adjustment nut can be fitted to it. As that nut is tightened against the tube, it pushes on the shorter bar just like the vise and generates the inward pressure we need to bend the truss rod. So here is a double truss rod in real life, and you can see that we've got the flat bar and the round bar, and you can see that the round bar passes through this tube freely, and then at this end, both bars are welded together. And then here is the adjustment nut. And as I tighten this adjustment nut, it will butt up against the tube. And as it does so, it will start to apply inward pressure. And that will cause our truss rod to bow. And as I release it, the opposite happens. And the truss rod relaxes back to a flat position. So now that we understand how a double truss rod works, let's talk about the side adjust mechanism. So the side adjust mechanism is basically a tiny box that sits in between the tube and the adjustment nut. It floats freely in there so that the adjustment nut can still apply inward pressure on the tube. Now inside this little box there are a couple of side wedges, a couple of end plates, and an adjustment screw. Now as you tighten this screw, the side wedges move inward and this forces the end plates outward. And this expansion between the tube and the adjustment nut creates additional inward pressure on the flat bar, which causes the truss rod to bow. And then of course, as you loosen the side screw again, the side wedges move outward, the end plates come back towards the center, and the truss rod relaxes back to its flat position. Okay, so here's our double truss rod again. Only now, in between the tube and the adjustment nut, we have the side adjust mechanism. And you can see that it's floating freely on that round bar until we tighten up the adjustment nut. And then it cinches in there tight. And you can still make major adjustments with the adjustment nut. If you turn it, you can see that it will bend our bar here. And if you loosen it, it relaxes back to flat. But now you can also make adjustments here with an Allen wrench. And as I tighten up those, tighten up the mechanism, it will cause our truss rod to bow. Okay, so what we have here is a Stratocaster replacement neck that has a double truss rod with side adjust mechanism in it. And we've cut away a portion of the fretboard, which was really hard to do, by the way. That took forever, but it, you know, that's the kind of thing we do for, for you guys. Um, and you can see how the side adjust mechanism sits inside the neck. You can see that here's the adjustment nut. And here is the mechanism. And then the side adjustment nut is right there on the side of the neck. So really, the cool thing about necks that come with the double truss rod and the side adjust mechanism in it is that they are ridiculously stable and they very rarely need adjustment. I have two myself, and I haven't touched the truss rod in either one in years because they just don't need it. But if they do, you can make major adjustments at the heel. You can make minor adjustments on the side of the heel without taking the neck off. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I mean, they sound great. They are safe to use around small children and pets. Uh, you don't need to fear them. Uh, they, just make, they just make for a super stable, easy to adjust neck that sounds fantastic. And that is side adjust mechanisms. If you have any more questions, uh, give our sales reps a call. They will never steer you wrong. And uh, until next time, keep on strumming.